In New Orleans, we were some of the first to be exposed. Hop off the plane and straight into the petri dish you'll go. And soon every bar top on Decatur, every swamp to a gator, every bride and groom, every French quarter bathroom was coated in the COVID before anybody knew that it had even crossed over. Even the Wuhanese love New Orleans. I saw a pangolin strumming a mandolin in Jackson Square on Mardi Gras Day and fruit bat burlesque on St. Claude at the start of the parades. Around the same time, they sent all those tests away. And I'm supposed to believe the scrolling numbers on the screen? I made the mistake the other day of turning on CNN. They said millennial monks want a free Wuhan. And on Fox, they say to drink Windex until you got blue hands. It's your right as a free, disinfected American. And a good way to show support for our president, who signed every check with his own small hands. But me, I'm a new man. I never trusted the political establishment, but now I don't believe any government scientist who can keep his job, and I know doctors are there to comfort you, not figure out what's wrong. So it's time to sing a political song. I guess it's time to sing a political song. Say so fuck you, Mr. President, Barack and Hillary too. Epstein didn't hang himself, but I sure hope we hang you. Fuck you, Thomas, and screw you, George, and fuck you, Abraham. You never had any right to these beautiful lands. In New Orleans, we were some of the first to be exposed, because it's one of the first places in the country where you'd care to go. Whether you're 35 Swedish geriatrics or a Chinese businessman, it doesn't matter what reason you hop on the plane. To hear the accents and the music, or to see the way people dress. To look for artifacts of that time when America was the best. To see the best sports stars, to eat a good sandwich or burrito. You don't do those things in Portland or Toledo. You don't go to Boise to find out what America means. You go to New York go to New Orleans. And it's no mistake that the same places that give the country meaning are the ones hit worse by all the storms and diseases. As long as the money is clean, the workers can be infected. And less black lives means a better chance Trump is re-elected. So fuck you, Mr. President, Barack and Hillary too. Said Epstein didn't hang himself. said now over his dead body that we'd get another check. Well, if the COVID don't kill him first, I hope that someone breaks his neck. Democrats off the hook. They're the by the book wolves in sheep's clothes who chose another racist, rapist oligarch as the answer. And you know the DNC would rather have Trump than Sanders. It's a standard good cop, bad cop routine, and I say fuck all police. They exist to serve the interests of the bourgeoisie. I don't believe any official story, any federal statistics or projections, and I don't buy trying to slowly change the world through rigged elections. What the hell happened to good old-fashioned political assassinations? As a nation, we have to accept that it might take some violence. Now is not the time for patience or contemplation in silence. We gotta write our own future. There won't be a future for long. Gotta get up and sing a political song. Gotta get up and sing a political song. So fuck you, Mr. President, I'm Biden and Hillary too. Said Epstein didn't kill himself, but I sure hope we hang you. Fuck you, Thomas, and screw you, George, and screw you, Abraham. You never had any right. Never had any right
beautiful land.